without a doubt, the best-known watch company in the world, Rolex, pioneered many advancements that are now considered standards in the horology industry. Rolex is the go-to watch brand and the first name that most people think of when thinking about luxury watches because of its reputation of producing high-quality timepieces. However, there are many things about this venerable, ageless brand that aren't widely known. We're Deluxe Living and we're here to give you a taste of how the 1% live. Today, let us share with you the 7 Rolex facts that only a millionaire would know. Remember to like this video, press subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can keep you up to date with everything Deluxe and more. Number 1. The name Rolex doesn't mean anything. One of the two founders of Rolex, Hans Rolsdorf, aimed to pick a name that would be memorable and simple to pronounce for speakers of different nationalities and languages. He was aware that it needed to be brief and elegant when mounted on a timepiece, so he decided to give it a five-letter name. He then began putting together numerous combinations, but none of them really resonated with him. Up until one day, the man himself stated, I tried combining the letters of the alphabet in every possible way. This gave me some hundred names, but none of them felt quite right. One morning, while riding on the upper deck of a horse drawn omnibus along Cheapside in the city of London, a genie whispered, Rolex, in my ear. And the rest is history. You now understand that although the name was given by divine inspiration when it was first created, it had no particular meaning. They chose it because it is straightforward and because it sounds expensive. Number 2. They moved from London to Geneva in order to cut down on taxes. A 24-year-old man and his brother-in-law founded the company. The pieces were previously imported separately and they were then assembled manually. A decision to create the components themselves was made three years later. Because of the increase in port taxes brought on the war and Switzerland's strategic neutrality as well as availability of skilled labor in the area, Rolex made the official decision to leave London in 1919 for Geneva. Additionally, Switzerland is a tax haven, so the decision to move was therefore obvious. A third fact here might not be what you expected. Number 3. Rolex is, in fact, a charity. Yes, apparently Rolex is a registered charity in Switzerland. Well, let's explain this in more detail. The Hans Wilsdorf Foundation owns Rolex. After Wilsdorf's wife passed away in 1944, he established the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation. Along with explicit and detailed instructions on how to manage the company's finances, all of Rolex ownership shares have been given to the foundation. Private charities are exempt from disclosure requirements under Swiss law, and according to the company, donations are kept private. As far as knowing if anyone has ever received a charitable donation from this foundation, there has been no confirmation. Additionally, they receive significant tax breaks because the Rolex company is nominally owned by a charitable organization. Now, before you folks decide to change your opinion of the brand, it's vital to remember that Rolex was Hans' only possession. He didn't have any kids and held all the stock. His intention with this action was to ensure the company's survival. The company has neither owners nor shareholders as of right now. They don't actually own anything, they are merely its custodians. The company pays its staff extraordinarily well, and since there's no requirement that profits be generated for shareholders, it may simply reinvest all of it to avoid paying taxes and continue its effort to advance its field. Number 4. One Rolex watch takes approximately a year to complete. This is what drives the high cost of Rolex watches. Incredibly, each watch is individually handcrafted. Even though Rolex produces thousands of watches annually from its factory, each one is still handcrafted. The commitment to quality is the same as always. To guarantee they satisfy Rolex high standards, each watch is put through a series of stress and pressure tests. The only tasks carried out by robots and machines are those for which the robots demonstrate superior performance to that of a skilled human worker. It takes a lot of time to thoroughly test each watch that they test. Therefore, it's not uncommon for a watch to take a full year before it hits the market. Today, this standard of quality is maintained. And that's perhaps the reason why Rolex continues to be valued by watch enthusiasts all over the world. Now, the fifth Rolex back on our list might surprise you, 
but before that, try giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic videos like this. Number 5. The most expensive Rolex watch in the world was sold for $17.8 million. The Paul Newman Rolex Daytona, which fetched a staggering $17.8 million in 2017, is the most expensive Rolex ever to be sold at auction. Yes, that's million. This watch was sold at the Phillips Auction House in New York along with 50 other watches. The Paul Newman Daytona was the featured lot of the winning icons, legendary watches of the 20th century auction. Furthermore, no one could have predicted that the star piece would sell for approximately 18 times its estimated value of $1 million at auction. Since its introduction in 1963, the Rolex Daytona has gained popularity among Rolex collectors. Daytona was named after the renowned Daytona Speedway, close to Daytona Beach in Florida, and was a daily wear for Paul Newman, who, if you don't know, is a well-known actor who enjoyed racing. Number 6. Cheapest Rolex is the Air King, which costs $2,200. That's right, you may spend as little as $2,200 for a genuine new Rolex. Although it receives the same amount of interest, it is not as complicated as other Rolex watches. The truth is that entry-level Rolex watches aren't that pricey. A high-end Rolex watch, for instance, would have cost about $900 in 1981. But in less than a decade, the cost of same model with minimal adjustments had increased to $2,350. They then realized that the increased price and greater attention to detail were ultimately to their benefit, and the price range for a basic Rolex today is between $8,000 and $10,000. Number 7. In 1926, the first Rolex waterproof wristwatch was created. The first completely water and dustproof wristwatch ever built was the Rolex Oyster, which debuted in 1926. This watch is the ancestor of every other waterproof wristwatch in existence. Even the phrase Oyster is still used to describe waterproof Rolex watches from the Day Day to the Daytona. Mercedes Glides, the first British woman to swim the English Channel, Receive a Rolex Oyster personally from Rolex founder Hans Wilsdorf himself as she prepared for her second attempt to swim across. Additionally, the inside of the Rolex was absolutely dry when she was dragged out of the sea half conscious after 10 hours. For sure, Hans Wilsdorf made a clever publicity move with this. And that's all the time we have for this video. We understand these Rolex facts surprise you, so let us know your thoughts. Leave a thumbs up and press the subscribe button so you don't miss out on deluxe living.